What does the recent Nas album, King's Disease, Big Sean's Detroit 2, and Benny the Butcher's Burden of Proof all have in common? Well, besides being some of the top projects for the year, they all have production from none other than Hit Boy. Hitboy is a California native from the Pasadena area that has brought us such big hits as Niggas in Paris by Jay-Z and Kanye West, Rex in the Middle by Nipsey Hussle, Sicko Mode by Travis Scott, and a long list of others. Born Chauncey Hollis, he was introduced into music by his uncle Rodney Benford, a member of the R&B group Troop. I know, some of you youngers out there might not remember who Troop is, but their song Day and Night was a banger. Anyways, Hit Boy took that introduction and started off writing rhymes. In his teen years, he would record music as an artist, but also started to shift his focus on making beats, using Fruit Loop Studios and custom VST plugins. He launched his career in 2003 by posting his productions on the web. His production skills were so sharp he started working with the Underdogs R&B production team. He eventually teamed with fellow beat makers Chasing Cash, B Car, and Chilly Chill to form the Surf Club. If you ever heard Drake's 9 a.m. in Dallas freestyle, there is one line where he mentions Chasing Cash, that's my brother's from the Surf Club. Chasing Cash, that's my brother from the Surf Club. These are the masterminds he is referring to. He also refers to Hit Boy on the track Zero to 100. You know the line. I should probably sign a hit boy cause I got all the hits, boy. I should probably sign a hit boy cause I got all the hits, boy. Yeah, that's it. But the Surf Club got their big break back in 07 when Polo the Don reached out to them through MySpace. Hit Boy's support from Polo the Don led to a publishing deal and his first real placement on Jennifer Lopez's Forever from her 2007 Brave album. His first Grammy win came four years later when he signed to Kanye West's Good Music label. In December of 2012, despite what would appear to be a very advantageous relationship, Hitboy revealed in an interview with Miss Info at the 2013 BET Awards Radio Room that he is no longer affiliated with the house that Yeezy built, stating, I got nothing but respect for Kanye, but I'm no longer a part of Good Music anymore. HS87 is where my heart is, and that's what I'm repping. And I got nothing but respect for Kanye. I'm no longer a part of like good music anymore, but HS87 is, you know, that's where my heart is. That's what I'm repping. He has signed a recording contract with Interscope Records and subsequently founded his own record label imprint, Hits Since 87. A few months ago, the two would exchange a series of tweets while the Hit Boy slash good music relationship really didn't pan out. He mentions that Ye admitted to not picking his beats because he worked with Queen Bet, referring to Beyonce. Even though Hit Boy brought good music several big hits. However, the two were and are still in favor of changing the music industry when it comes to artists and producers receiving what Kanye calls the modern day slave agreements. Hit Boy mentions at the age of 33 he now has multiple Grammys, produced a lot of your favorite artists' biggest songs on top of turning in over 450 plus records since he first signed to Universal Music Publishing Group. And they still don't have it in them to simply be fair. If they're doing this to me, he says, with all I've accomplished through hard work, I can only imagine the kids who don't have big placements slash proper guidance. And that slave deals are still very real and rampant in 2020. Hit Boy continues to expand his production catalog and is now called upon not just for one song by artists, but multiple, or even the whole album. Also in 2020, 
Hitboy recently won a Grammy for Racks in the Middle featuring Nipsey Hussle and Roddy Rich for Best Rap Performance. Despite such big accomplishments, Chauncey Hollis, aka Hitboy, says his best production thus far has been his son C3, who appears in a couple cameos of Nas' Ultra Black video. They also placed the cover of Preen Magazine together. Thank you.